Uh, my name is Brian Aiken. I'm coordinator of the Chemical Production and Power Engineering Technology Program at Lambton College. I started out teaching in an instrumentation and control program uh, for the first several years, but uh, approximately 15 years ago we looked at starting a process operator training program here at Lambton College, and that's when um, I kind of moved my, uh, my teaching over to that area because I had worked as an operator in the plants previously, and so it was a really good fit to uh, enter back into training in the uh, process operator area. Typical day on the job for a process operator uh, would include going into a unit like this but on a much, much larger scale with uh, very tall towers and tanks and pumps and uh, they take readings to make sure that the equipment is operating properly. They take samples, uh, there are sample containers that they take out and they sample the products. Uh, most control rooms have a small lab beside them where the operators themselves run tests on the samples to make sure that the, uh, the process uh, liquid or gas, whatever they're manufacturing, is up to specification. So that's most of the outdoor aspect. On the indoor side, uh, the control panel, uh, everything can be remotely operated from a control panel and they can um, uh, sit at the panel, start and stop pumps, compressors, usually in conjunction with another operator out in the plant, and they communicate uh, via uh, walkie-talkie devices to uh, tell each other what's happening in the control room, what's happening outside. This, uh, this is a distillation uh, tower, and it's, it's very similar to what happens in an industrial situation. In, in fact, uh, even uh, crude oil is taken into distillation towers to separate into various products, including uh, gasoline is one of the major ones. The students sit in an operating console and they will introduce liquids into this column. Uh, we have a, a separation of methanol and water, a very simple separation that takes place. So the students will start the uh, pumps and get the fluids flowing and then we introduce steam to the bottom of the column. There's a, a boiler in behind, you can't see it too clearly, it's in behind the column but we introduce steam and that will boil the liquid in the bottom. And after it starts to boil, because uh, methanol boils at a lower temperature than water, the methanol will start to rise and separate out as it goes up through the two-story uh, column to the top. And coming off the top, we will get the methanol product. And off the bottom, we get primarily water. So it's a, it's a distillation process. It's a separation based on boiling points. Uh, but it teaches the students uh, aspects of process operations because this is a fully instrumented plant. It is uh, under an automatic control system and the, and the students operate that system as they would in a real plant. And uh, it's, a, it's an excellent hands-on experience. For, uh, for students interested in becoming a, an operator, uh, it's uh, very similar to a lot of the technical fields. Uh, they certainly need to uh, complete their secondary school education uh, with their English courses. Mathematics are important for this, uh, this science-oriented program, and chemistry and physics are also important. Uh, th those are the key elements that they need to, uh, to attain, and uh, if they have strong interests in those areas, in the sciences, then this is a, a good career to consider.